Hi everyone. Uh, I just realized I wanted to get my video done. I've been sitting and crocheting this morning and was really getting into it and time was getting away from me. And I just want to show how good they're being. They've been in and out all morning. They go out for a little while and run hard and play and then they want right back in because they're getting hot pretty fast right now. But then when they come in, they're just being so good. Laying around, playing, being being real sweet. Um, and we're just taking it easy today. And uh, I am going to try to do some ultrasounds. I don't know, hopefully this afternoon, maybe just maybe later this week. This week, I'd like to ultrasound all my girls. Because next week, they were... They start with Sheba and then Delilah and then Ray Ray will move into their 35 days since breeding. And that's when an ultrasound is supposed to show. Uh, you want to you want to catch it around 35 days after breeding if you want to see the puppies. <clears throat> but I want to practice, so I'm going to start this week and then hopefully by next week we can get... <coughs> get good and and be able to actually count puppies yeah he was being good but now he's getting ornery he wants that toy i'm the baby give it to me i'm the baby yeah you know she won't give you a toy don't come and get on me no uh -uh. you settle down no i wanted to show I got a real sweet gift in my mail yesterday. This is a kitchen towel with the dogs on it and the crochet top. And it's a double double thick towel. And then the, there was this one with the crochet towel hanging. And it says, my favorite people have paws. I got that in the mail from one of our YouTube followers, Miss Susie. And along with a list of uh, 12 things, 12 rules for a happy marriage. So I just wanted to show those because I love this kind of stuff. And I love somebody else's crochet. I make these and uh, I used to sell them. But now I just have my own. I don't make and sell too much stuff anymore. Not in the crochet. But I still make a few things. I am crocheting today, making up some Christmas gifts out of some uh, specialty yarn that I have. I'm making little soap pouches. These are just a real cool little uh, accessory for showers and stuff. And I have a bag of uh, soaps that I put inside of them. But I just crochet kind of slowly when I just don't want to get up and do anything else. I want to sit, so it keeps me busy with something to do. And and I do still do some special orders. If someone wants to order stuff, I will. I, will, I still take orders. I just don't do the craft shows anymore, and I don't fill up a booth of crochet. But uh, my thing now is the quilts. Anything dog-related is what I really do. Uh, with the, I've been working on the uh, the um, baby blankets that will go with our new new puppies when they get ready to leave. So I've got some nice patchwork fleece baby blankets I've been making quilting. Uh, just it's kind of like the crepe mats, only they're done in the the baby prints for uh, baby puppies. So, and I make the bandanas. I sew them to go home with the baby puppies. So in their go bags, they'll actually have a blanket and a bandana and toys and dog food and paperwork. And now just whatever else I can find to stick in the bags and make them, make them enjoyable for new owners. So I love to do up the go bags and make them uh, super nice. But what are you growling at? <coughs> oh my goodness. I, don't you get on that door. <coughs> hi, hi. Joey, you started that landslide with your growling. 
that's what they do. They can be laying still, they can be sound asleep, everything can be quiet and peaceful, and then one of them will hear something or think they hear something. There is nothing out there. That's why I still have the gate in front of the door. Plus it's locked and, uh, and it's latched. <laughs> but I am keeping it shut more than it's open. But when I'm sitting here in the living room, I have it open. I just, I don't want to chase these kids down through the neighborhood again or risk one of them running out in front of a car when they hit that door and make it come open and take off. That's not going to happen no more. No, can't have that. But anyway, that's all we're doing. We're just, uh, like I've been saying for the past couple of weeks, we're staying in the A.C., I did fill up their kiddie pools yesterday, and they go, go do go out and get good and wet. Boy, you're such a loud mouth, boy. Loud mouth Joey. He's the baby. Delilah used to do that. When she first came, she was just an eight-week-old puppy, and, oh, she would bark every time she got mad. She would bark when she wanted something and couldn't have it. She would bark at Jericho just to annoy him. And now Joey's paying her back. <laughs> and that's why he barks at her. Because if he gets very close, she'll snip him. She's a snippy girl. <laughs> you can tell her off all you want. It won't work. <laughs> I don't know how how long she can actually ignore him <laughs> before she jumps down and gets him. Oh, you are such a loud mouth. <laughs> he gave up. Anyway, that's all. We're not doing anything uh, to speak of. I'm hoping to get some ultrasounds started this week and start practicing with the machine. And then uh, as I get to where we actually can see the babies and do a puppy count, I'll be announcing that. I'm sure Sheba and Delilah are pregnant. <clears throat> Ray Ray, I still can't tell just by looking. And I haven't seen any any significant changes in their behavior so we'll wait and see it's only been about three weeks or so since she was breeding so it may may not notice at all looks like grandpa's going to come in and pilfer in the kitchen for a while so anyway that's what we're doing today i hope everybody has a blessed day and please remember if you're watching and you like our videos please hit subscribe like and subscribe or follow so that my channel can grow a little faster. I would appreciate that. Yep, Grandpa's in the house now. Oh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Hello.